Today we're going to spray some color matched Raptor liner down on the floor of the Land Cruiser. First we have to prep it, and then we're going to paint it. I already cut out the rusted areas and repaired them in the last video, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. But in this video, we're going to prep the floor, and we're going to apply some primer, and then the Raptor liner. So the first step was to strip off as much paint and rust as possible. Again, I used this Black Hawk 4.5 inch stripping disc. It was a lot of work. Like, a lot of work. This took several days. And then in the smaller areas, I used this small wire wheel. And I used this larger wire wheel to get into some other areas that I couldn't reach with the stripping disc. I also used some sandpaper for areas where I just couldn't get anything in there to fully strip it. I just sanded it back as smooth as possible. And there you have it. We've got pretty much all the paint stripped off. The red areas you see are not actually rust. They used a red primer below the paint, so a lot of that is just paint that you're seeing, not actually rust. But I did go ahead and go over the whole thing with this rust reformer. I brushed this over the entire surface just to make sure if there was any rust that I didn't get to, this should hopefully treat it. Then I used some seam sealer to seal up the areas around where I welded in the patches. I also covered the back side of all the welds with seam sealer. And then after the rust reformer dried completely, I sanded it down with some 120 sandpaper. And I mixed up a little bit of Bondo to go over some of the joints where I welded in the patches. I'm basically just smoothing out the joints where the patches are just to hide them a little bit better. I think the Raptor liner is thick enough that you probably wouldn't have seen these anyways, but it didn't take much time to add the little bit of filler. So once that dried, I sanded it back, blew off all the dust, and then I wiped everything down with some acetone. After that, I masked it off. I'm only spraying the floor of the Land Cruiser, not the sides of the interior. Then I mixed up some primer sealer that I had, and I used my paint gun to spray it down. It was important for me to spray down the primer right before the Raptor liner and not let it dry overnight. That way I get the best adhesion between the two. This is what it looked like right after I sprayed down the primer. And now it's time to mix up the Raptor liner. I bought this kit. The kit comes with four 24 ounce bottles of tintable base. It also comes with the hardener and the spray gun. So I mixed the hardener with the tintable base, then I added the tint to the base, and I mixed it up really well. And then it was finally time to spray the bed liner down inside the Land Cruiser. I've gotta say I was really, really impressed with this process. The material goes on nice and thick and smooth. It's easy to see if you're getting too much in one area. It turns into kind of a smooth, thick surface instead of the textured surface that you should have. Overall, it went down really well. It was very easy to apply, much easier than spraying paint. Now, I just sprayed down one coat of the liner. I didn't do multiple coats. There were a few light spots after the first coat, so I came back and touched those up later, but that was it. And I used two of the 24 ounce bottles to do the entire interior. I still have two left. I'll be using those on the inner fender wells, and also I still need to paint the cover that goes over the transmission, but that'll be done at a later date. So after I sprayed it down, I wanted to remove the masking tape before it dried. If you let it dry, then there's a good chance that the masking tape will peel up the edge of the liner, and that's not good. So you want to remove it before it gets dry. So after removing it, this is what it looked like. I'm really pleased with how it came out. You can't see at all where any of the patches are that I made, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I did let this dry for the next five days before moving on to the next step. And the next step was to clean up the existing paint on the inside of the car. I'm trying to preserve as much original paint as possible on this vehicle, so it was important for me to just clean this up as best as I could and not paint over it. Now as a reminder, this is what the interior of the Land Cruiser looked like when I bought it, so we've made a huge improvement. By patching the rust areas and applying the bed liner, it looks so much nicer inside, but we still have the wear and the character that comes with age, which is exactly what I wanted.
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.